He has been a prominent attorney, substitute judge, philanthropist, patron of the arts, patron of good causes, and an ever aspiring singer and entertainer, successful businessman, public servant, devoted husband, father, and friend to everyone. And I mean everyone, and a lot of you are here today. Always impeccably dressed, a true original. Peter was a born extrovert who loved the limelight. Can't you just see him now working the room, greeting everyone by name with warmth and grace? This is Pete's sort of crowd. And can't you hear him saying, who loves you, baby? <laughs> he was bigger than life, bigger than all of us. Peter clearly loved life. He loved people. He loved joking and laughing at us and himself. Peter valiantly battled the cancer that finally took him. In an interview last summer with a longtime friend and newspaper reporter, Pete said, all of us will die someday, but I do want to live. I want to continue to contribute to my family, to the city I love. I still have things I want to do. It has been painful to watch Peter slip away from us these past few weeks. Some have said his passing was a blessing. I don't agree. Like you, I wanted Pete to live forever. A week ago, before he died, he asked me, I'm sorry to do this to you, Mom, but he asked me to sing a song to my mother about how he felt. I've had my thrill of life's ups and downs, but fate's been kind, the downs have been few. I guess you could say I've been lucky. I guess you could say it's all because of you. If anyone should ever write my life story, for whatever reason there might be, you'll be there between each line of pain and glory, because you're the best thing that ever happened to me. Yes, you're the best thing that ever happened to me. Thank you very much.